So this is a story of invention. It is an invented device to save people with carbon monoxide poisoning. In 1896, J.B.S. Haldane pointed out that light could remove carbon monoxide from hemoglobin, but not oxygen. No one did anything for a long, long time until we began to use light at the suggestion of Rox Anderson to one photon of light will knock off one carbon monoxide from one hemoglobin molecule. Now we knew the only treatment for carbon monoxide poisoning was breathing oxygen. Now if your lungs are damaged, the last thing you want to do is breathe oxygen. So what did we do? We developed a device, Luca, Anna, others developed a device, a membrane oxygenator, which I had worked on since 1966-67. Only we would phototherapy, we would use red light to knock the carbon monoxide off. And we could use it while breathing oxygen, but be 50% quicker at getting the carbon monoxide out of your blood. So this is the way people will treat carbon monoxide poisoning. It can easily be done by EMTs and it will remove all the carbon monoxide in the blood. We're excited about this. We have a great time writing the paper and enjoying the paper and I hope you will too. Thank you. This is a demonstration of a device constructed in our laboratory, a small membrane lung, which was used in removing carbon monoxide from the blood of a rat, poisoned with carbon monoxide. But to do it, we need an intense red light, such as you see here. This can be done by LEDs, and we have defined the absolute optimum red light to do this. And this is it. So you have blood, a pump, and an oxygenator. Just imagine the blood being in a rat, and you have the same thing. Or a sheep, or a human. It takes you have only 8% of your body weight as blood, so there isn't a lot to clean out. And once we clean it out, your brain will be much better, we believe. So this is a really good human trial device coming along.